we were a little bit skeptical in the beginning about this uh, 614G kasi sabi namin baka bias lang sa uh, submissions doon sa database because many Europeans and Americans were doing a lot of sequencing and so they were the ones depositing the sequences in the large databases so we so when they discover na oh there's a very prevalent mutation ganun ganun sabi namin baka sampling bias lang siya kasi ang marami naman talaga nagsasubmit Americans and British and Italians and French with that, that variant na yun 614G yung glycine we did not expect na 9 out of 9 in Quezon City we expected meron pa kami D na makita wala na kami nakita highly infectious based on in vitro data it seems to be in vitro ha pero in terms of in vivo yung pasyente to pasyente we don't have direct evidence just want to clarify na we don't have to be very very alarmed about this this is not a new mutation we just reported that it has been detected in the Philippines, but has been in circulation probably 66%, 70% in Europe, as well as in the US. It's very, very important that uh, all of us will continue to be vigilant. Uh, we follow the advice of uh, the protective material equipment. Uh, but at the same time, we should also be assured that as, as we speak, the, even if the mutation is present in the country, it does not cause any more the symptoms to be any more severe.